Hey YouTube, it is your homeboy <clears throat> Seth Marshall Art Fitness. And I want to say this: I've been having a pretty, pretty good, awesome day. Pretty good, awesome day and everything. And I just uh, basically just had a day of, you know, kind of slept in a little bit, you know, rested up most of the morning. Um, I kind of stayed up late last night. Um, just kind of was watching movies. Um, not really doing much of anything. I did work out. I did a bag video and I did a wooden dummy video. I hadn't done a wooden dummy in a while training session and it felt wonderful. It felt really good to do it. Um, today I had to go to make some errands today. I've been kind of on the road off and on today. Um, Dollar General Store, like, I tell you what, I mean, today. There are these two girls that kind of made my day. Uh, two women. Um, they uh, one of them, one of them in the floor, one of them in the store was just a shopper. Um, I didn't know her from Adam and Apple, but I, you know I knew she was married. She had kids and everything. But every time when we would meet in the store, like she just laughed, apologized about it. And I just tell her, it's fine, it's fine, I'm not, I mean, I'm not doing anything, you know, I'm not in a hurry or whatever, I just tell her, I said, nah, you know, I'm not, I'm not really following you or anything like that, and that's what I told her, and she says, you, and he's like, you don't have to apologize, just for running into me all, most of this time, and it, it was just funny because, and she was just giggling about it, because she thought I was just flirting. I kind of was, you know, even though she was married, but um, I was still kind of flirting with her a little bit, and um, but um, but I think uh, she kind of saw something in me too, you know, a little bit, because you know, I would, she saw the niceness and she saw the politeness, but also kind of like. Know, not really being serious about it or whatever and you know she was just laughing about it and like giggling some sort of shit and I don't know what the giggling part was all about but maybe she just thought I was cute maybe that's what she was laughing because um, every time when I would always run into her I would always smile and she we just always laugh the whole entire time. And, but, you know, usually, nine out of 10, nine out of 10, a married woman does not really stay faithful to their man. Uh, that's just an all women out there. Now there are some women that do stay faithful to their faith, faithful to their men. Um, but do men really stay faithful to their women? It works both ways, and that's the thing. And a lot of people don't realize that you know yeah you can be that jerk you know that cheats or whatever but but having a 
maps that you see them do. I got tired of drinking Mountain Dew for a while. I've been kind of craving something else. I really don't like Pepsi that much, but once in a while I do drink something, you know, different. I do drink um, it differently in a once in a while. I haven't had a Pepsi for a while. I usually stay with D, but my body was saying, you know, hey man, and I, I want you to switch it up today. You know, he had too much of it. So I kind of just bought a bottle of it. Um, but I was saying into the, into the uh, relationships, is that it works both ways, you know? You know, most, you know, if they're fine looking, this woman that was flirting with me in the store, the whole entire time, I mean, she was hot. I mean, I would give her a 10, just on how, how fine she was. And, I mean, but, you know, I don't know if that was her kids with her, or if she was babysitting, or what, but it, it didn't look like her kids, but she had a ring on her, and I, I just want to go and go for that, because usually 9 out of 10, uh, you do see a ring on her is a no-go, um, but um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, she was almost like a perfect ten. You know, she had that personality, she had that politeness, she had the beauty, and I was just like mesmerized by it. I'm like, wow, and so. I was kind of being the alpha in a way, because even though I really wasn't, I really wasn't trying to really do anything, you know, I was just beating myself shopping, but it was just about every time when we go around the corner, we would always meet. And, or I'll go around the corner, we would always meet. And um, she would just giggle about it. And I'm like, you know, you don't have to say sorry every time, but you know, it's politeness, you know, I get it, you know. You got your kids with you, you're trying to watch the kids, and, and I said, it's not a big deal, nothing to worry about. And I said, if, you know, if I had kids and if I was running around in the store, I'd be watching them too while I shop as well. And that's the thing, you know, and her, her kids were asking, Mom, who's that? Who's that? And she says, Oh, it's just a customer in the store. And I guess, you know, they saw something in me today, you know, where, okay. Um, they saw something in me today where, you know, they saw, I guess they saw something shine in me today or something. Um, I guess I'm just more of. In a positive mood, more positive mood than what I have been lately. Um, I don't know why. Um, I guess it's just because I woke up in a good mood. I woke up... Even though I, I got to sleep in, um, usually I wake up about 7 in the morning. But I was just really, really, really tired. And I did really, really hardcore training last night. Just technique training. Um... I worked the heavy bag, I worked speed bag, and then I did the wooden dummy afterwards, and then I practiced uh, roundhouse kicking on it after that, and that's all I did. Um, but like I said, it's just in most uh, in most relationships, in in most relationships it, or anything like that, if the woman's fine hot, smoking hot, um, that uh, attractiveness, you know, if, if she looks like a goddess to you in, a, a, in any other way, um, usually 9 out of 10, they're flirt, they're cheating on their husbands, and, um,
you know, there, you know, I'm not, I'm not racist or anything, you know, I'll date any type of woman out there and, um, other than heavy set, I don't date heavy set. Um, but I mean, I'll date average to fit or whatever, but I won't, I won't date anybody heavy set, you know, I just have my priorities and, um, so, I mean, she, I, you know, she didn't really look fit, but she looks like she was a 10 in my eyes. And usually I don't say that a lot about strangers, um, that I meet. And, and I mean, she was black, which I have no problem with black people. You know, I love, I, I love black people. I love Chinese people. I love Korean people. I love African American to Russians to whoever, you know, I like them all, you know, I'm not picky on any woman and, um, on who I date or whatever. And, um, that's the thing, you know, and I'm open-minded, but sometimes when you have a relationship with a different breed, it makes it hard for your children um, and when you, if you have a kid with them, it makes it hard for your children to fit in with today's society, but anymore, they don't really care anymore what the skin color is anymore. Um, was they're kind of teaching that in school and stuff, you know, always be nice, always be courteous to one another and all that stuff, you know, treat everybody equal and, um, stuff like that. But it's just, um... If she wouldn't have been married, I would have probably just asked her for a number and just be like, hey, can I have your number? And, but I didn't, you know, because I knew she was married and, um, I don't flirt with other women's, another man's property. I mean, I don't take another man's property, you know, that's, that's gone beyond boundaries. I respect I respect another man's property. You know, and that's that's what I don't do. Um, is go with married women. And but the thing it is, women can lie too, you know, they can lie and say, Oh, they're not married and then they'll say that you're not married and all that. Then they would end up saying something like, Okay, well, you're not married, then who's this man in this picture on your on your stand? You stand next to him or whatever in a wedding gown and stuff like that. And then he'll say, oh, that's my ex-husband or something like that. He'll say something like that, which, you know, 9 out of 10 is not really true. Um, it's just that they're usually married no matter what they just chose to cheat on their husband while he's at work or away on the business trip or something like that and there are women out there that do that and will do that just to get it just get a quick dick in and um or the one of the men would just try to do anything just get um there was one time um I went somewhere and I went to Florida and on my senior trip. There was this one time there was these two girls smoking hot, smoking hot. And they were both tens. I mean, their personalities, their looks, everything. I could have sworn, you know, it could have been my hormones kicking in at a time. But I, this other one, this older chick, older chick, this older woman, just about like in her. 30s in her 40s at the time and she looked like a supermodel pretty much and um I had to ask her and I said um are you a model or something and like that and I, I just went up to him started talking to him I said are you two models or something 
and um, they, they just kind of smiled and blushed a little bit, and they said, "No, why?" And and I said, then I then I turned around and I said, "Did it hurt?" Because you know, like, why did it hurt? And I said, "Because you fell from the heavens to here." <laughs> And that's what I told them. And they said, why don't you just join us? Like that. Uh, just hang out with us. I'm like, okay. So I hung out with them too. All afternoon by the pool. On one day on a senior trip. And. All the guys were all jealous. And everything. And. And, um, because I got two chicks to hang out with me the whole entire day. And, and the younger one, she was kind of flirt, more flirty with me. And then, um, so was the other, so was the older one. And, it was both just kind of flirting with me. So I decided to, um, flirt with both of them. Flirt with both of them at the same time, you know, see which one hits me up first. Then out of the clear blue, the woman says, you're cute and everything. And, like that to me and says, would you like to go to a party later on and just hang out with me most of the night? And I said, well, I'm on, on senior trip. I'm not really with, I mean, I'm with the, my class, my class and everything. And I was just like, you know, if you could talk to my sponsor about it and everything, and I, I I had her go talk to my sponsor about it, and I mean she was all she was all dressed up nice and everything, like in a dress and um, a really beautiful dress, and I remember it like it was to this day. I mean she had gorgeous blonde hair, um perfect body everything and I mean she was just that beautiful and she says I'll take good care of him if you just let me take him out you know he looks like a good guy and so they said go out with her for about an hour come back to the hotel and I'm like okay so I went I was this chick up there in Florida for a whole hour, just hanging out with her and everything else. Um, we we just got to know each other, and you know she knew I wanted to try to get up in that, and she knew that, and but it it never it never really happened, but. Um, I did get a kiss from her. I do remember that. I did, did get a kiss from her. And that was my first experience of being kissed by a woman. And like on a date. And which which all the other guys, they were all jealous. They all went to, like, places to eat out. And, um, while I was out on this date for that whole hour, and, um, with this older woman at the time, which I was, like, 18, which I was old enough. And so I just took her out. Took her out somewhere nice. And we just had a good time talking and everything. Got to know each other. And, and... And she said I had a great sense of humor and all, and I just, um, you know, I had that, she said I had that charisma, and she said, you're, 
you're not really a teenager, you know, she's like, you're more mature for your age, and, and that's what she told me, and she said that, um, that's the reason why I went, took you out on a date, and that's what she said, and, and so I got, that's how come I got that kiss from her after she told me that after she gave me that kiss. And she gave me her number. And, but it was in one of my old phones. I don't have her number no more, but I wish I would have still kept it. Um, she's probably a little bit older now. But, I mean, for real. I mean, if she was still fine like she was in her 30s, she's probably still fine right now. I mean, um... I mean, that, that woman I saw up in Florida and everything, she was so hot. Um, but, um, I only go for the ones that are more attractive. I always try to, you know, if they're, if they're a perfect 10, I mean, like, really a perfect 10. Um, as long as they ain't no gold digger, um. Then I'll go go out with them, but if they're easy laid back like this one is, and I'm like, I'll try anything, and like that one was, and I said, I'll try anything, and as like I said, I met this one at a bar recently, like a while back. I mean, me and her just talk, but um, there ain't nothing between us. But I have asked her out a couple times on a date, and um, but she's never really said anything back to me. Um, so, I just know she's not interested. Interested in me, or whatever, because... Everything else, and... Everything else, and... And that's the thing. When a woman, that's another thing. When a woman is not interested in you, usually 9 out of 10, you just can't. You got to learn to accept the fact that she doesn't want to go out with you. Um, I always try to reverse the, reverse the situation around. You know, kind of like that scene in Cobra Kai where Miguel has a crush on Sam. Sam. He goes up to Sam, asks Sam, say, hey, will you go out with me? Sam says, well, I don't really want to go out. Then Miguel says, listen, remembers on what Johnny says that do not accept defeat. Switch the routine around. And uh, think of something different to get her to go out with you. And so he said, well, how about this? How about go out on a date? Um, or just hang out with a, not really a date. But just hang out having fun. And Sam says, well, it sounds more like a date. And well, he says it's not. And it is pretty cool. So it's like that's how I do. You know, I just try to play it cool. You know, especially to the women out there. Um, you know, I just like really attractive women, um, really beautiful women that fit. And it's kind of like the one I saw at the store. She wasn't really fit, but she was just really, really, really attractive. And um. And then there was this other one that, you know, was average, but she just kept flirting with me the whole entire time. And she knows me now really well in there, and I just flirt back with her. I said, I don't really care. She's married. She has kids. And we just learn to mess with each other every time we go in. And so it's like, I, I you know, it's just, you know, I just like to have fun, you know. Sometimes fun can lead you into good things. Sometimes fun can lead you into bad things. But it's just how you do it, how how you put it into any situation. Now you got to be able to figure out your cause and what you want in life. Because if you don't go for something, if you want it, if you see somebody that's attractive, you know, go after them. And unless they're not married. If they're not married, you can go after them. But if they're married, stay away from them. Um, that's the thing. Stay away from them. And, like I said, 
But most of all, when it comes to women, just be yourself. And that's what women like. You know, if you're yourself, you're fun to be around with. And um, you joke around and women see that. And I mean, I don't know if it was the clone I was wearing or what. But they was all joking around with me today and everything. And, and I saw her. And I think it was the clone I wore. Because I did put two different types of cologne on. But they're so both the same brand, but I just made it more intensified in it in the cologne because I did kind of do a lot of housework today. I did build up a sweat in my shirt, and um, so I just sprayed myself a cologne. Um, smell good before I went, and when women smell cologne on a man, um, I guess that uh, just turns them on more than anything because they know, hey, even though he has a beard. Um, even though he does wear, you know, sweats and a shirt, um, he still smells good. And women like that. And, and I don't dress like ghetto either, you know. I, usually I wear jeans or whatever, but I didn't really, I couldn't really find no jeans to wear. So, I just thought, well, I'll just put on sweats. And, and I, and I wore what match. So, that, that helped out good too. Um, sometimes I just don't like it when people don't match. When they were closed, but yeah, I don't care. You know, I just go in with confidence. I don't care. I mean, if it was a light color on the bottom, dark color on top, I mean, hey, who cares? But just go for whatever woman you want, you know? Just be yourself. Just go up to them and ask them, say, hey, would you like to go out? Um, this one, she had kids. Um, I didn't want her the kids to go home and tell her dad, say, hey, some stranger has mom out on a date. And you know, say something like that, but it's always, it seems funny that it's always the married women that always want to flirt with me, and that's the thing, you know, it's just like, um, I don't know what brings them into me, and it's just that married women seems to be more attractive toward me, um, when it comes to women, I don't know why, but, um, it is what it is. Um, like I said, I'm just in a good mood. Um, nothing much that went on today. Um, I just stayed home today. I, I actually, I did some errands today and, um, clean house. Now I'm going to get off here, do a little training outside for it gets dark out. And, um, I'm not afraid of the dark or anything, but I really don't have no light out here in the front yard. So, um, I'm not going to leave my car light on. I'm going to porch light on for me to be able to see um, what I'm doing. Um, I could turn on my saber outside late at night if I really wanted to. Um, my sword out, out at night if I really wanted to. Just if I wanted to. Um, in the dark with that lightsaber. But it's like I said, I just don't really want to. Um... So I got a lot of views on the lightsaber drill videos. I mean, literally, I mean, I got a lot of it, a lot of views on it. Um, I, it seems like my boxing videos do really good. And like I said, it's like my technique videos do really good. And my boxing video, I like my boxing training, my any type of martial arts training video that I do, it gets more views than my talk videos. Um, but I'm trying to get more better at talking since saying a lot of ums, but it's just a habit of saying um every time I talk because that's just how I talk. Um, but I'm going to get, I'm going to try to get better at it. Um, there I go again saying um. I'm going to try to get better at it and everything else and hopefully to on my speaking a little bit more um there I go again uh catching myself through it and that's one habit I do have on the speaking part on my talk videos that I like to say I'm a lot and I'm going to try to not say it so much if I kind of like get into a blank space in my head or whatever sometimes I do say um just to be able to uh, no, I think I transcend on what I'm thinking to y'all in this talk video or everything else. And that sometimes I don't write anything down. You know, I try to remember everything on what I have to say. 
and I just basically, you know, just do what I normally do. You know, I don't care what people think of me when I am talking in the video. So there you have it, Seth Martial Art Fitness, and I'll talk to you all later, and peace.